Hi, welcome to the how to, to use the mental models to have a great 2023. And this is mental model number two. And the mental models that we explore over here are those that um, help you determine how to make the best of your new year. How do you allocate resources? How do you strategize? How do you make sure that you're you know, ahead in the game, uh, especially where times are not looking very certain? And again, you know, in the previous video, we talked a bit about prioritizing by precession, the chance map. And this time around, I'm going to give you another tool on how to prioritize uh, because it's not just about um, it's not just about doing one thing. You need a series or layer of tools in order to, to create great outcomes for you. That's one of the rules of, of doing any form of strategic thinking. And now I want to go into the second tool that I use to, to prioritize. And this is, uh, and so this is, no, let me just, so this is model two. And we call it the K factor. And this is based on really a very fundamental principle. In fact, it's based on a very famous parable uh, from the time of Jesus. Um, and it's not a religious thing. It's not a you know biblical thing or anything. It's just a universal principle. I'm going to tell you what the principle is. Very, very simply, there is a ground. You have ground. Let's uh, write that down. You have ground. And surprise, surprise, you have, you know, seeds. So what happens when seeds go to the ground? You... I mean, it's not a, a, a trick question. When it goes into the ground, what happens when you sow it into the ground? It becomes a tree. It creates fruit, right? Like So, so this is a blue tree. There's no brown on the iPad, funny enough. So it becomes, you know, trees. And this looks more like mushrooms, but anyway, yeah. Uh, that's why, you know, I stick to my skill sets. So, ground. You put seed in the ground, and what happens? You create trees. But sometimes, and a lot of the time, things happen. So again, I draw the ground. But do you know that your ground is more important than the seed? Right, so it's actually ground is more important than seed. Why? Because if you plant a seed and you plant it and you plant it on ground which is barren or hard, which is really the parable of the sower, right? They threw seed everywhere and there were four types of ground. There was fertile ground, pavement, thorny ground and desert ground. Then what happens if you, if your seed enters fertile ground, fine. Then, you know, the tree, the tree sprouts out, right? But when you put it into ground, which is barren, then either you get very poor crops or you, you get nothing at all. Am I right? And so really one of the key paths to success is knowing the ground you sow your hard work in. Because seed represents your hard work, it represents your tenacity, it represents your time, it represents your, your work. But if you sow it in ground that is unhospitable, inhospitable, you will not create the result that you seek in your life. 
So the question is what? How do you determine the ground that you are supposed to sow into? All right, so that's why I call the K factor. And this is where you, you make the determination, which is the path that you, you want to, to go for. So the K is really like this. In the economy, uh, there's a change. There's a change, that, there's a disruption that is happening in the economy and in the economic cycle. So it used to be in the economic cycle, we have boom and bust periods. That means we have times of really insane uh, growth and times where nothing is moving at all. But what has happened, thanks to COVID and thanks to technological disruptions and everything, what happens is that now our economy is in a parallel dimension. It's actually in parallel di uh, realities where we have economies that are just growing. Uh, we have economies that are just growing really, really fast. And we have economies that are, or niches that are tanking. And so what happens is you, yeah, what I call Fakan or fertile ground, and you got barren ground. And the key is to really determine which is which for you. So, and to look at the sentiment. So what's for Khan? For Khan now might be AI, let's say. It could be things like, uh, it could be things like, um, like a software as a service. It could be things like um, creating your own offers, which means if you sow your seed in these sort of areas and, uh, you know, commodities, there's a super cycle now for commodities. So interesting thing is uranium is now, <laughs> uranium is now uh, on the uptrend. So you need to see uh, what are the things that are going up and what are the things that are going down? So basically, if you're a service provider, like if you're a copywriter and everything, your life is getting disrupted a lot by both AI and you know, virtual outsourcing and, and whatnot. Uh, if you're in specific different industries, uh, they are you're, you're just dying and struggling, and you're not going to, you know, like the, the mom and pop you know, the mom and pop grocery stores that are, you know, dying because of the pandemic and whatnot, they can't survive. And so what happens is, if you're not getting the results you're getting, it's probably because you are barren ground. That's all. Really very fundamentally simple is your focus on barren ground. Right? So you're, instead of focusing on the fecund side of things you focus here and therefore you're not getting results you're not getting the life you deserve because we all actively sow seed but the ones that sow seed in the right areas wins and so and of course these things flip that there are some levels like that not everything will be on upward trend all the time but some of the biggest millionaires what happened? What did they do? They basically went on for current ground. They invested in. They invested in um. In crypto and NFTs back in the day. And now they're buying thirty million dollar bungalows in Singapore, but obviously you know there's exit strategies. You know when to get out and and whatnot. So, um, but it gives you a universal principle of wealth. You need to first plant seed, which is a given. If you're too lazy to do that, then you're not even going to get any results because not planting anything gives you zero harvest. But if we all have an equal amount of time, an equal amount of seed, equal amount of energy, some of you have a little bit more energy than others, 
then it serves you to just go and focus on anything that is for cunt. Am I right? So that's really it for me. When you strategize, when you plan, look for the K. Look for the top of the K. Invest in the top of the K. And when the K starts to dip, because it can, because life is, you know, life happens. It, your, your K can, can go on a downward trend then get up. And so really, this is one of the most powerful wealth creation principles, not just a planning principle, it's a wealth creation principle that I can give you. So again, sow your seeds, but pick the, be selective about the ground you pick on, pick on for current ground and prioritize and plan accordingly. And again, um, one of the reasons I do this video beyond it being fun and beyond it being, um, uh, beyond it serving you for the new year is that you know we have we're reopening uh, inevitably incredible which is our planning program and again we're doing it because we launch it I mean the boneheaded decision of launching it during the holiday season uh, so we want so a lot of people didn't see it so we want more eyeballs on on the program and yeah so I'm just doing this video putting you in that right mind space, the framework, and to show you that, yeah, with these sort of planning frameworks, when you accompany it with inevitably incredible, with all the packages, starts from 41, which is nothing, oh uh, yeah, you're going to have a kick-ass amazing year. So that's it from me, Kenneth Yu, and I'll see you in the next video soon.